Hi everyone, we're back with another active tip. This time we're going to talk about containers, exactly how we can set up some basic uh, containers. Uh, the more advanced concepts we'll discuss during the summer when we actually have some training for, with our summer workshops. But this is active tip number, does anyone know? Is it active tip number three? Not that anyone's actually watching these. Uh, nope, it's not three. Uh, what about four? No, let's try five. Hey, it accepts five. I get a little sound reward. Therefore, it must be active tip number five. Okay, right there's an example of a container where I set up a little container to only accept the number five. Okay, we'll go over some, some of the basics of how to do that. Uh, here's another example, just so you can understand uh, how containers can work with students. We have some words hidden behind this bush and you can tell like when I take my mouse and I go over I see the little crosshairs that's letting me know that there's a word so when I left click I'm gonna grab a word and I can pull it out. So miniature students are supposed to read the word and tell if that means little or big. So miniature that's little and it's staying there. Okay, and I even get a little reward sound. Okay, enough of that. Let's stop that sound. Uh, let's try one more. Huge, now, again, say a kid didn't know that huge meant big. It's going to spit it back out. And it's not going to accept it. So, we have to try again. Let's grab huge. And let's put it in the right category. And again, some more sounds. Okay. So you get the idea. Let's try one more. Enormous. And it accepted it, and I get another sound wave. Okay? So that gives you an example of how you can set these up. Now, there's certain rules and stuff. And I don't want to get into a lot of the, the rules right now. Uh, again, we'll talk about these rules as far as summer workshop. Okay, but if you are interested, you want to, hey, you want to make your own containers right now. You don't want to wait. Uh, if you go to help, you can actually check content and then just search for containers. And you'll find these rules and stuff. So there's actually several rules that you have to be aware of. And they walk you through an example. So that's what I have on, the, on these uh, pages right here. Okay, now here is something that I quickly, and I'll show you how I did this. And it's real easy. We're going to take the easy way, you know, especially if you're just listening to this and you want to perhaps try this. We're going to actually download a resource pack that's going to make containers really easy for you. But I was able to set this up where it's going to accept, you drag, a, drag a word, and if you place it in the correct box, it's going to stick. If not, it's going to spit it back out. So let's just show you this. Pupil, I know, is up front there. But if I try to put it right here, it's going to spit it back. But if I put the word in the correct box, it's going to stay. And so you can kind of go through, and your students can come up to the board and go through this. And I had all this saved so that when I hit the page reset, it's going to reset the page back for, say, another student to come up to the board or another class. So I had that all set up ahead of time. So let's go over real quickly exactly how I did that. So basically, I took a picture of this. Okay, now remember to take a picture. You have a camera tool. Now I'm going to use my desktop tools. Hit that tool. You get this little wheel. Uh, when you And again, you can move this wheel around. But when I click the center, I'm going to have an option to go to the camera and I'm going to do an area snapshot. And again, this was already set up ahead of time, but you can just drag the area that you like. I like copying it to the clipboard. Okay, so it's basically pasting or copying that, and then I just need to paste that on a flip chart. Now, some people get confused when they have this wheel. To go back to your flip chart, hit this little icon, return to flip chart. And now I'm at my flip chart, it's a blank page. Now I'm just going to right click and paste. Okay, 
So I have that picture. Okay, now I have my diagram. Now I want to make this more interactive. So right now it's just a static image. Really not a lot of fun here. So let's go to Promethean Planet. Now if you're not a member of Promethean Planet, please, you know, consider joining Promethean Planet. It's a free registration. But once you're a member of Promethean Planet, you can actually download resource packs. So the resource pack that you want to look for is Containers Made Easy. So go to Resources, and then you can just type in Containers Made Easy, you know, select Resource Packs, and you will be able to find this. And this is a great, real easy, simple way of being able to set up these interactive pages. So let me go back and show you exactly how this is going to work. So I was able to download my resource packs. I'm going to pin my browser open. So I have this resource pack containers made easy. And we're going to go under in the folder word matching. There's 50 containers here that are all ready to use. So let me just show you real quickly how this works. So I'm going to take a container and I'm going to cover up lens. Okay, and then I'm going to pull out the text container one and I'm going to edit it. I'm actually just going to type in lens. Everything is set up so you don't have to worry about setting up and all the different properties of containers and stuff like that. This is ready to go. So I have the word lens down here. It's going to return until I put it in the proper location and then it's going to stick. So you can use this and really any diagram, any type of matching activity that you'd like to use, use a different container each time you want to you know cover up a word or have students label you know objects. So again you would just take the container, edit it, and you're good to go. So it's pretty easy. Uh, here this is actually found in that resource pack, uh, one that's already made up, like a basically matching countries. So it's pretty easy to use. Let me do one. Again, Chile. If I put it right here, it's going to spit it right back. It's, again, these are all very easy to set up, and it's going to stick. And it'll be a nice little interactive way to call up a handful of students and have them interact with the board. But you can really set these up very easily with any, any to, meet, to meet your content. Uh, next, just wanted to prove that I could find all the countries in uh, Central and South America with a little help of the internet. But uh, I was able to match everything. But also, part of that resource pack, you have you know templates already so you can label this and have kids sort out information to meet your needs these are already set up so that container one will fit in the blue area okay so if I put it in the green it's going to spit it back but again you can label the categories you can edit all this but it's already set up to stick to stick in the proper location so that's pretty cool now one little hint though once you you know edit everything and you have everything arranged the way you want it, do a save so that you can use the page reset. So if I had all this labeled correctly, then I have a student come up and move some things around. I want to get it back to the original look. I can do page reset. So make sure you save properly. Okay, if you need help, please contact me. This is going to take care of this episode, but there's more details about containers that we are going to address, you know, this summer. But that can at least give you, with that resource pack, it can get you started with trying to make a make some interactive uh, pages for your students. Okay, take care. Take care. Thanks for watching.